Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how you can detect objects in a picture and then have the picture save it inside a folder. So in my object detection tutorial using a Google Colab, I show that we can detect objects in a picture. However, in that tutorial, I did not show, how, show you how you can save the detected object image inside a folder. So in this tutorial, I'm going to work on uh, modifying the Python files shown in that tutorial. So for example, in that tutorial, I introduced you to three different uh, Python files. And how each Python file works is the object detection image will it detect the object inside the image. However, it won't be saved to any particular folder. Same for video. So object detection video will, will look for the object inside the video and create a bounding boxes around the detected object. However, it will not be safe. And, so, and the same is goes for webcam. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can save a picture that has went through an object detection inside a folder. So basically what happened in the end is this. So for example, let me give you an example. So for example, in my test images uh, folder, I have three pictures and the three pictures are this this and this so these are the three pictures and once i run my python file so it's going to take some time so once i run my python file you'll see that actually i have another three image additional three images and this additional three images has the name underscore edited into the end of each file name so let's take a look at them so this is my first image and this is my second image so since there's no dog inside the image so nothing will be detected however it will still be saved as a file inside the folder as you can see in this picture there are, there are two dogs there are two dogs inside the images and my object detection model managed to detect two different do two dogs inside the picture and it is safe inside a particular folder that I want and then lastly I have another image of two dogs and my object detection model is able to capture the two dogs inside the picture and save it as a file inside the folder you can download the this python file from my github page as I will upload it into my github page you go through the methods one by one I will only go through the changes that I have made and I have created two lists uh, one is called all underscore image underscore names underscore from underscore folder it goes a, a blank an empty list as well as images as an empty list then I define a function and I call the function loop image and I put a directory here so basically what this line actually does is uh, it, will, it will look at every file inside the directory and if the file actually ends with .jpg it will actually join the directory and as well as the file name together and then it will be attached to images and then this process will be repeated until the entire file that has .jpg is append to the image empty list so the all image found from the folder so I use this uh, all image file from folder to represent this uh, directory so this directory is represents this folder and in this folder, there's actually just now there's actually three, which are uh, these three. As I mentioned, it will loop through this directory to find all the JPG files. So if I print out all the all image names from the folder, I will have these three particular directories. So one image, two image, and three image, which are the three images inside my folder. Now I call upon a for loop for the list, and all this do doesn't change. But I change it to so I change the path to image. So previously the path to image is uh path to image goes to os dot join dot path dot join to the current uh, path to the image name. But I change it to just path name from folder. So this will be the items from the list. I also want to create a naming convention. I want the, the file to retain its name. However, I want to add the underscore edited into the back of the name. So I do a dot split. So what basically what a dot split will do is it will split the the directory 
by dot what happens is it will split this into two items inside a list and this is the second item this is the first item so this is the first item this is the second item this is the first item and this is the second item and I will take the position 0 which is the first one inside the list and I also decide to uh, comment out this uh, particular cv.imshow create a cv.imread so I will have the new file name which is coming from here so I will let the new file name equals to the new image name which come from here new file name bracket 0 actually refers to this first part and by taking the so by taking this I can actually add on underscore editor.jpg so this part actually will create the name for the image file this will be the image which is coming from here if I run it I will be able to get this three edited file as shown in, uh, initially yeah so that's about it so this is the end of my tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below um, if not thank you for watching and see you next time bye